Ben and Jerry's Sunday. It's a brand new sub range of Ben and Jerry's, which they've all got the normal ice cream underneath the bottom, but then they've got this whipped soft topping on top with the, the the top bit is different. This particular one that I'm reviewing first is Cookie the Monster, and it's got their sweet cream ice cream in, which I'm a massive fan of. I think it was in Fossil Fuel, right? Back in the day, the one with the oatmeal cookies in. Anyway, let's give this one a go. Hello everyone, thank you to Ben and Jerry's for sending this out to me. I didn't pay, there's honesty there. Uh, it's still gonna be a completely honest review though, so don't worry about that. My name's MJ, and uh, yeah. The full description of this flavour is sweet ice, sorry, try again, sweet cream ice cream, so not vanilla, with chocolate chip cookies and chocolatey cookie swirls topped with creamy whipped ice cream, sea salt chocolatey swirls and chocolatey chunks. I mean, it's a bit overkill, honestly, um, but let's give it a go, guys. It looks like that on top. That is the whipped uh, ice cream. So this is uh, basically two layers. Hopefully I'm showing some pictures on the screen of like the tub cut in half, which I think was from their promo images. Uh, let's give this a go. You should be able to get these pretty readily available um, from supermarkets and stuff very soon. I think they're coming out incredibly imminently. Um, right, let's give this one a go. I'm really, I'm gonna try and get a bit of this whipped topping just on its own. Hopefully you can see the texture there. It's come out really nicely. It does seem really smooth. Um, so I've had these delivered to me um, with like ice packs so that re they remained frozen or at least very cold. And then I've put them in the freezer for like 10 minutes. So they're sort of, I'd say they're probably how yours would be if you left yours out of the freezer for 10 minutes. I'm not getting a huge amount of smell. Wouldn't expect to, it's ice cream. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. That's interesting. Mmm. That's good. Mmm. That's somewhere between. I did get a tiny bit of the chocolate syrup, so actually the, the chocolate syrup overpowered it a little bit. This bit has got none. Interesting. So that whipped topping, it is like a slightly harder, like Mr. Whippy. Not a huge amount of flavour, it is vanilla-y. Tastes a little bit artificial flavouring it, a bit like squirty cream. And it's kind of like, it melts away quite quickly as well. Very interesting. I'm now going to get a, a spoonful with the, uh, this is a sea salt chocolatey sauce, I think. By the way, do you like my spoon? Mmm. Oh man. Bloody hell. That chocolate sauce is so good. God, more of that please. Mmm. Now let's try one of the little chocolate pieces on top. Mm. That chocolate sauce goes so well with that whipped topping. Oh, wow, the chocolate's really nice on top of there. They're like dark chocolate pieces. Very nice. I'm gonna try and move them to one side though, right? Try and get into the actual ice cream itself. Some of this whipped topping, Claire. Right, I'm now down into the proper ice cream itself. So. My first thing I would say, to be honest, I think it's a shame that they've used the sweet cream ice cream in this um, flavour. That chocolate sauce and everything else in here is so strong that it's just going to dominate that flavour of the sweet cream ice cream. That sweet cream ice cream is so good because normally, because it's like subtle and sweet and it's not vanilla-y. This, because it's coupled with like the chocolate and the cookies and everything, you sort of lose the the subtle flavour of it and it's got like little sauce down the ribbons down the sides as well down the side as well mm. it is a really good flavour mm. actually maybe with that bite I did get a bit more of the sweet cream flavour actually mm. it is a really good flavour anyway though that being said oh the texture of the cookie is really nice although I don't know what I had there cookie swirl or cookie but really good texture mmm Okay, fair play. It's something that I really like about this. This is not a gimmick, right? So this is obviously called Ben and Jerry's Sunday. This is like a Sunday experience. You've got the sauce on top. You've got the whipped topping, almost like a whipped cream topping, topping like you 
like you would get on a Sunday. Got his chocolate pieces on top. But then down the sides, you've got sauce running down. And then you've got the ice cream underneath around all the cookies and stuff. Probably help with the fact that I'm using a Sunday spoon. This is really good. And actually, I criticised it for using sweet cream. Actually, you can taste the lack of vanilla there, to be honest. And so it is very much... It is like a hyper creamy uh, sundae, and thus really creamy and chocolatey, if that makes sense. Mmm. Mmm. I really like this. Oh, I was like a bit of cookie as well. Here we go. Is it like proper cookie dough or... Oh, it's like a harder version of the cookie dough. Oh, and tastes a bit more like a digestive as well. That's weird. Mmm, nice. Very different. Um, very much a chocolatey and creamy flavour. If you like chocolate sundaes with loads of sauce and creaminess, this is definitely going to be the one for you. I think this is a very solid Ben & Jerry's flavour. I'm looking forward to trying the other ones now even more so. I give us a very solid four stars. Thank you for watching guys. Like I say, it should be readily available very soon. Um, there's three flavours. There's like this one, a hazelnut one, a banana one, banoffee one, um, and then a vegan berry one, I think. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Cheers. Let me know in the comments if you like melons.